Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Deliver Us The Moon. We are currently on a space station that has this life support system failing. It is kind of our fault we turned it off. To activate the rotation engine to get power for the elevator. But, I mean there's no timer yet and our oxygen is now so I think we'll be okay. Never mind, things are about to get much worse. Where's the command center? It's fine. Nothing to worry about. All we gotta do is get to the command center. Upside down. Uh, command center. Command center. Still not listed, which means it's probably just on this level, right? I got a feeling I just did a 180. I might not have. Very obnoxious alarm. Under construction. Maybe we just have to go through here. That would make sense, actually. If only I could remember something I did like 10 seconds ago. Oh. Oh dear. We can't go through there. Might be in trouble. Wait, where the hell can I go then if I can't go? Th hmm. Well, this is uniquely interesting. I can't go through the here because the door's closed. I swear I came from the Olymp... from the Limbra. Let me just double check. Yeah, we definitely came from this way. Oh, no. Maybe we didn't come from this way. This is the sleeping quarters. Ah, with the control center. Okay, yep, I just got turned around. I apologize for that. Turn on the thing. Activate the rotation engine. We don't need to breathe. It's fine, just hold your breath. Dear. I mean, there's bad and then there's this. I was not expecting a quick time event. Oh, really? I guess it kind of makes sense because we were floating for quite a while there without oxygen. Oh dear. Give me the oxygen, the oxygen, the oxygen. <laughs> this would be like a serious terror factor for any like astronaut. Being stuck free floating in space would be terrifying beyond measure. Oh god, dunk. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, wait, what's that down there? That looks shiny. Oh, it's oxygen behind a... Yep, I need that. Mm, mine, 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 mine. Eh. Oh god. Ooh, lots of oxygen. Wait, how many can I... I can slow down. I can slow down. Ow! No oxygen. They tricked me! <laughs> OK, 
Give me the oxygen. Eh. Oh my god. We're cutting this to the wire. We've got 44 seconds. It's not bad. He says, noticing that 44 seconds isn't actually that long. I'm really worried about this cutting my suit to pieces. The question is, do we go left or right? Toward the big red thing, I guess? Oh, that's what's left of my ship. Right. I mean, I guess we found out that the uh, the station really doesn't want to rotate. But God knows how we're going to start the elevator now. That's how we're going to do it. Evacuation proceedings. Now it is an emergency. Press the big red button. I mean, we, we really, really broke that. Oh, well. <laughs> My only question is, if the MPT relay requires the moon hub, or the station, the moon station, did we not just blow it up? Uh, retrieve an ASE unit to gain access to the MPT control center. Oh, now we're in third person again. This, this third person, first person thing is quite annoying, because they, they're not just pick first person or third person. I think this game plays better in first person. Run diagnostic at MPT control center. Yes, open the doors, please. Mm. Ah, yes, they are open. Wonderful. Well, five years after the blackout. What, how bad is this place? MPT network offline, power station power very low. Run diagnostic. Roger that. Okay. Let's see if we can get our bearings. This place seems like the space station, just twice the size. ASC, the software behind your faithful companion. Dear Sarah, I found this book and thought you might like it. Please accept it as a thank you for all the emotions you programmed into my ASC. May this book inspire you to program many more. With kind regards, Rosa Lavade. And these setups are awesome. Uh, well, we can get through there. Yep, no, so we're going to get the recording. We'll finally start to find out what's happening. Seems empty. Where is everyone? I have no idea. I've never seen the base like this. Is Alex getting any heat signatures? No, nothing. This can't be right. I'll go downstairs, see what I can find. Sarah, we'll figure this one out. And thank you, both of you, for saving me when the blackout hit. I know I am. Uh... team, you must be at the surface by now. Remember, you only have 40 minutes down there. 
Copy that, Pearson. Don't mention it, Rolf. Can you check out the control center and see what's wrong with the MPT? Will do. Keep your comms on. I'll update you when I find something. Okay. They arrived pretty much the same we did way we did. Council? Isaac Johansson. Oh, these are his private quarters. A child? Isaac was devastated when he learned of his wife's death in a dust storm on Earth in 2049. Unwilling to keep his daughters exposed to Earth's worsening conditions, he summoned them to join him on the moon. Claire refused out of concern over Kathy's health and looked after her sister until Isaac exerted his influence to gain legal guardianship over Kathy. Kathy was brought to the moon soon after. Uh, I'm missing stuff. A bit upsetting. More antidepressants. A lot of antidepressants in this game. Five lessons to make you a perfect parent. Why is every game I've played recently, well, I say it recently, but every game that I seem to play be full of antidepressants and parenting guidebooks? William MacArthur. It's his room. Well, his room's much more sort of formal. World Secret Service. This is to certify that Chief Operations Director W. MacArthur was honorably discharged from the World Secret Service for many years of excellent diligence and distinguished service. I feel like that's the sort of thing that you don't put on a plaque, but okay. Because it definitely said Secret Service. Not really much of a secret. A brief update, the evacuees from Tombar settled in. MacArthur, the bedlam at Tombar can never happen again. I'll have no part in that. Isaac Johnson? Isaac? Good. Then we can begin soon. Time for them to make a decision. Remember that no leap forward has ever come without sacrifice. Isaac, survival comes at a cost. Soon the events at Tomberg will just be a faint memory. Time to leave all this behind. What happened there? So many mysteries. A oh, nice painting. And this is Rosa's room. Hundred percent earth coverage. Speech about crossroads, Tombar, and Earth. The best and brightest, the new age. Outward. Well, I did not flipping this stuff over, am I? Forgetting to flip stuff over. Oh, here's the, I assume this is the council room. What's this? Security and transport supervision. His his office apparently is locked. Hearing supervision. Whereas this is not. What are with the holograms? Well, that's freaky as all hell. William, what the hell was that speech about? Our next chapter, Rosa. It's time. The ships will be ready soon. You can't be serious. I don't know how you plan to fix this mess, but you'd better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. You are serious. Will, have you lost your mind? We can't leave the colony behind like this, not during this blackout. Not with the MPT signal still offline. People on Earth depend on us. Don't concern yourself with them. Those days are over. We have to start the long journey ahead. That was the agreement. The ships were supposed to be our last resort. We didn't give up the first time, and we are not giving up now. When the network is back online, we can provide Earth with power again. We are close, William. No, we're not. We're not close at all. If you still think we can power the entirety of Earth with the MPT, you're more delusional than I thought. We have one last hope, and it's outward. Now get ready, because we're going. I'm not leaving, Will. Not like this. I'm not asking. Get her on the ship. What? Uh, is this really...
Oh no. That seems bad. After an ominous speech, Lunar Council member William MacArthur comes to collect his colleague, Dr. Rosa Levade, for a mysterious journey. Outraged, she refuses to join him and contends that the MPT and Earth can be saved. MacArthur doesn't take no for an answer and forces her to come with him. Recorded the 23rd of September 2054, four minutes, four minutes after the blackout. Four minutes after the blackout? Though man, that guy was jumping to bloody conclusions, wasn't he? Can we fix this poor little guy? How do I, how do, I do maintenance? I'm taking you with me. Can I... Can I use you to open doors? Hmm... This was the maintenance place. Maybe there's a mysterious machine we can use that'll fix him. I hope so. Down here looks promising. Come on, little guy. We'll fix you right up. Initiating AZ maintenance protocol. Running AZ hardware diagnostic. AZ connection to moon hub facility network. Failed. Oh. AZ network access port status. Defective. Component replacement is advised. Uh, replace network component. We need bits. I assume they're going to be around here, but let's, let's remove that first. Place network parts on table. How? Well, let's have a look around, shall we? See what we can see. I mean, after all, it is maintenance, you'd have thought. Oh, well, this looks promising. Let's rip some bits out the station. No, I'm guessing that's where we can send him. Ah, storage. There might be some in storage. Ah, here's something. One of the three components necessary replacing the network access port. Sweet. It is just going to be a case of me walking around like a, like a loon until I find it, I guess. Luckily, they're quite obvious shapes. What's this? Oh, it's an emitter receiver. What well, emitter and receiver? When Kathy Johnson was brought to the moon, Dr. Rosa Lavagar was immediately taken with the girl's vivid imagination. Determined to limit the impairing effects of the moon's low gravity on her new friend's physique, Rosa carefully monitored Kathy's health and growth rate. Despite Rosa's good care, Kathy's health deteriorated rapidly during her stay on the moon. I'm guessing being zero G as a child is a terrible thing. I mean, why can I toggle that? But okay. You got any of the bits I need? Can I cannibalize? Ah, that's a bit. I think that's everything. I mean... I mean, what? How's this supposed to work? Um, I guess we need a, a flat bit?
Ah, I see. Over there. Then... This one? This doesn't seem right. Maybe it is. No, I don't think it is, unless... Hmm... Of course, it's possible we've put the wrong bit in the wrong place. One of the main things that confuses me is it says... No, never mind, I'm just being an idiot. We can't take it out, so it's obviously... This bit in a specific way. That makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? I swear sometimes my brain just turns off. There we go. AC network access portal placement successful. Easy connection to Moonham facility network established. Proceeding with AC hardware diagnostic. AC thruster status defective. Full thruster replacement is advised. Oh, come on. Uh, got any thruster bits lying around? You're still the center of my gravity. Much love, Liz. That's a really nice thing. Uh, young Claire Johnson claims WSA competition trophy in the stunning conclusion to a neck-to-neck -neck race. Undergrad student Claire jo Johnson's daughter. Lunar Council member Isaac Johnson has claimed the first prize in the WSA's prestigious Our Future competition. An initiative of WSA, the biannual competition is the largest of its kind and simulate, stimulates innovation of space travel and sustainable development technologies. Head WSA scientist and Lunar Council member Rosa Lavard, I still don't know how you say that, heads the jury herself. Claire Johansson's entry testifies of brilliance rarely seen at her age, commented Dr. Lavarde on jo Jonathan's design. The efficiency and durability of her rocket design is exceptional and stands out from the rest. As part of her prize, Claire Johansson has received an open invitation to join Dr. Rosa Lavarde's research team on the moon, but in a remarkable turn of events, young Johansson has expressed no interest in joining. Unprecedented, Dr. Lavardi remarked. Huh. And then it's a picture of a moon. Or daddy from the kids. How many kids on a space station like this would be really weird, wouldn't it? Okay, hi Isaac, I know you're busy. But could you install a new module to my ASE soon? Lead engineer Sarah Baker from Pearson Space Station has designed an additional emotion module that seems fascinating. I, it'd mean the world to Kathy too, Rosa. I apologize for... I apologize, but pressing matters at Tomba require my full attention for the next few months. Besides, you know how dearly Kathy wants an ASE of her own. She hasn't stopped asking for one ever since she, you showed her yours. How are her growth results? Of course, our duties come first. As for Kathy, I need to be honest with you, the test results are in and she's not at all growing like a girl her age should. I worry for her health, Isaac. Maybe she was better off on Earth after all. Please at least consider the program. Rosa, you know that she'd be no better off on Earth than here. I'll think about the program. Thank you. You mean a lot to her. Okay, now it looks like we're just like, I don't know, flipping a switch or something? No. Hmm, we're definitely missing bits. What are we actually looking for here? This looks like an awful lot of discs. Place thruster parts on table, replace thruster. I say, are they in here? I 
I fear I keep pressing the wrong button. What I'm looking for is definitely around here. Gotta be in this room, hasn't it? What am I missing? There you go. It was just on a plate, on the table, and I completely missed it. Okay. Oh, oh no. So we want the little one. That goes in there. Then we want the... This one? But... That way? Then we want this one? But that way? No. Oh god, hang on. Maybe it's not this one. Oh, there we go. Set to rotate it 180. The holes were the wrong way up. After that, it's the one that's got three things on it. I assume it's this one. Yes. This one? And then the final piece is this one. Put the side back on. A is the thrust replacement. Successful. Initiate reboot to complete maintenance protocol. I'm guessing that's down here. A reboot. Wow. Don't know what happened there, but the game really didn't like it. Oh, bugger. Oh, hey, little guy. Oh my god, I want one. And I can press Y to control. ASC? Oh, I can take him over. Oh, this is so cool. But, I'm afraid to say it. I'm going to have to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.